お前の道はここで終わりだ見せてその先の力というのをフッブリーチブレイブスソウル We're out of maintenance finally. What is going on, you guys? This is your bud, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And、uh, guess what? We have ourselves another Burn the Witch banner dropping, which is literally going to be this end of the month. And it's Halloween. Yeah,、um, we got a leak. Shout outs to James Hansen for that. But like, let's see if they added the actual character info. In the game, which I'm assuming they did. Today's the 27th, and considering September only has 30 days,、uh, yeah, this is normally the time when we get the news about end of the month. Although, are we gonna be getting any other resurrections? Let's see. Okay, first, here's the trailer. Bleach! Brave Souls! Banza Witch! Mo! Nande Adashiba? Ah! ここでかAnd that was the trailer. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the special move animations look nice, but. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. What are these? Yo. Hold up. Hold up. What is this? What are these orders, bro? Hey, yo, what the fuck? And Aizen, Shunsui, and Shinji are finally getting a rainbow resurrection. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of news to go over. Let's just take a look at the Burn the Witch characters first. So,、uh, yeah, okay, at least once you go to step 25, you're gonna be guaranteed Noel or Nini. You can choose the character. And yo, chill the fuck out, yo! Oh,、uh, finally. So,、uh, yeah, do we have the banner info? Yeah. That being said, I don't think this type of banner format will be the same as Mint Month. It's just gonna be step 25 with every five steps guaranteeing a character. So,、uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. It is gonna be the same format as Thousand Year Blower, so,、uh, yeah. I mean, it was kinda expected. It was a bit too broken, but now, look, let me just say this. Alright, I see Nini is a mind character, which is fantastic. I'm hoping that these characters are neither g o i n g to be a speed or a hard character because they're just stacked to the brim. I think mind and power needs more help right now. So let's just take a look at everything else. So Nini is g o i n g to be ranged, strong attack character, burn and weakening, and gauge rampage. Wait, what? So you're telling me that、um, she's g o i n g to have rampage via the gauge? What?、Um, okay. What? H hold up, hold up, what? She gains an additional frenzy. Besides the Berserker. Okay. Sprint plus one, long stride, fire immunity. Where are the killers? <sighs> Only hollow killer? Damn. And what? Excuse the sound effects. But, uh, yeah, uh. Hmm. Bro, what the fuck keeps on disconnecting and connecting? Anyway, let's just go over the news. So,、uh, Frenzy plus one. She、uh, does have Frenzy plus two via the gauge. Havoc of 20%, Berserker 40. Sharpshooter. Full stamina damage boost of 20%. Star gauge of 70%. Heal 30. Gauge effect spiritual pressure of 50%. So, it's the same. Shut up. Same、uh, stuff as Bruno, but also has the gauge rampage skill. I need to know what this is. I hope there's a definition, but like. I'm not gonna lie, Nini in base,、uh, she does look a bit weaker compared to like、uh, Bruno. Like, don't get me wrong, the multipliers are good. Frenzy plus one, Berserker 40, full stam 20. But in base, it's nothing too crazy. Like, if you compare her to White, I just feel like White has a bit more stuff going for him with the Frenzy plus two, 80% SP boost. And to get most of the damage in, you need to get the gauge effect active. 
Otherwise, uh, yeah. That's kind of the problem with her. Now, I don't know how she plays, but we'll see. Noel, don't let her be a... <sighs> her character. Okay, uh, she's gonna have Weakening and Drain. Okay, Soul Reaper. Okay, well, uh... <laughs> Uh, she might replace 6th Anniversary Eisen. Let's find out. Wait, does Nanny have Sharp Trigger? Yeah, okay, yeah, she does. No wall. Alright. Ground attack reaches time of minus 12%, Havoc of 20, Spurner plus 1, Paralysis Immunity. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. We have ourselves our nuker for heart about damn time. <laughs> oh, wow. It took us this long? Well, like, look. We're gonna get the new GQ difficulty on October 3rd, so, like, we don't know how it's gonna perform. Why did she pick a follow-up? She's not a mad character! What?! That is such a wasted skill already. But, like, look at what she has for- Bruiser Twain. Why? 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 What? <laughs> she doesn't even have increased status summon chance. Bro, what did they do with this character? Ugh. Er <laughs> DPS, uh, yeah, DPS-wise, uh, she's not better than Killgay. She does at least have Sharpshooter, but... She does have damage to weaken enemies and damage to drain enemies. Yeah, this is basically a thousand-year blow or Yamamoto, bro. We're looking at the exact same character right here, with the damage to weaken and drained enemies. Wait, she's gotta be stronger than Yamamoto, too. Yeah, yeah, she's officially one of the best nukers in the game, bro. Like, look at this. She also has weakened defense with 80% SP boost bombardment. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be the best nuker in the game, but it'll be interesting to see how she'll do in the new Guild Quest difficulty. Like, I don't even know how she'll do if she'll... I don't think she can sub one uh, the very hard GQ, but like in hard GQ, yeah, you're gonna be looking at a thousand air blower Yama that is just gonna be even better. And I think this character is gonna be better than what? Yeah, she has to be better than why if you guys ask me. I... All right, there's the gauge rampage. The gauge is increased every time an enemy is defeated. The number of enemies defeated by a team party member does not affect the skill. Okay, so besides using the straw attacks and normal attacks to fill up the gauge, even by defeating enemies, it will get the gauge to fill up. Okay, so now this completely makes up for Nini not having increased status omen chance. And you know what? Okay. I'll take it. She's definitely good. I do think that she's, like, second best mind unit in the game. Uh, Noelle, she's also really, really good. Like, why only Soul Reaper? What? What is going on? Alright, let's look at the fillers. I don't expect Parasol Burn the Witch characters to be in here. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. <gasps> Interesting! Interesting! Uh, so, uh, Tensa and Ishin do make a return, which, uh, yeah, we only have four really good fillers, and that's literally 6th Annie Aizen, 7th Annie Ichigo, Tensa, and Ishin. The rest? These characters are just links. Legit, they are links, but now it's getting me to want to summon. And, uh, yeah, there you guys go. It's gonna be the same step up format as Thousand Year Blower. Keep in mind, there are no individual banners. So, if you guys want to go all out, you guys can. Just that, I'm broke on orbs. I don't even know if I want to summon. I have to be honest. I'm glad that we got Nini to be the mind character, but Noel being harp, I don't know. We need to see the kits, too. So, uh, let's just go and take a look at them real quick. And then we'll look at the resurrections and everything else that there is to see. Because, like, look at this. Oh, Cinderella Epic Raid is also returning. That's nice. That's really nice. Awesome. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. And they still are adding the new Epic Raid bonus characters. Yeah, that's a W. That's definitely a big-ass W. That being said, I do see Parasol Burn the Witch coming back as, like, you know, a filler banner. So, uh, yeah. Could be why we didn't get all Burn the Witch characters, which, to be honest, I kind of prefer it to be that way. Like, a lot of the premium units in here are quite powerful. But, um, yeah, let's just take a look at the actual gameplays. All right, let's get right into it. The kids better not disappoint. So yeah. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. That is delicious. Okay, I don't like that SA one. She's got the eighteen percent shave. Ah, oh, but she does have the dragon vortex. 
Damn, this is the first time they're showcasing her in Guild Quest. Yeah, they changed the way that they're trying to showcase the characters now. But I don't like that as they won, though. At least she does have the 916 Tome and Vortex. Alright. Where do we know? I want to see the strong attacks. That's what matters the most. Yeah, she's not stronger than Killgay strong attack wise. I have to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. So she's got either the Sim 50 and Tolman Vortex or the 960. But it feels like more than 960. Which is good. It does make up for the fact that she has the 18% shave. Because keep in mind, this is literally the uh, Thousand Year Blower Yama for Heart. Literally the exact same copy pasted character, but with a weaker SA1. We already know the special move. Let's just look at Minu. Yeah, she also looks nice, but I'm not gonna lie, this time I'm not as captivated as I was with Noelle, so, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the Gage Rampage skill is pretty damn broken. <laughs> he really makes up for it. Alright, let's just take a look at uh, the, uh, hit. 750, I think? That is just broken, bro. That is literally just broken. Although I have to be honest, I prefer the standard Rampage skill over the gauge, but this is still quite good. Yeah, this makes up for it. Alright, let's look at the strong attacks. Yeah, some 50. Some 50. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Okay, she's got the regular 960. Yeah, mmm, mmm. I don't know if I can call her number one for mine, though. Hmm. But albeit, I do think that only having Holo Killer kind of hurts her in the long run for when it comes to the overall value that she provides. Because, like, White, even though he's premium, he's just still going to be a lot more valuable than her. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I take back the negativity that I have towards this Nini. She's pretty much a good-ass second for mine. Definitely. The characters are really good, but now, are you guys going to be summoning? As for me, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of tempting. It is. It is. Uh, keep in mind, my tense is only 3-5, Ishin 3-5, and uh, there's still a good amount of stuff I can get. Now, let me take a look at this. Finally, Power Aizen. I'm not expecting the best upgrades because these are premium characters, and normally premium characters and seasonal characters do get the short end of the stick for when it comes to getting resurrection, so let me just go into cooldown mode with the hype and just see what we can get. So, Aizen. No innate abilities. Okay, but he does pick up strong attack damage of 16%, which is good. <laughs> oh. Wow. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Caleb. I love it. He picked up Havoc. He picked up Berserker. Strong attack 16. W res. I'm happy. I'm a happy motherfucker! <laughs> I don't care about the rest, but I'm just gonna take a look at it. Bro, I'm happy. Aizen walking out with a W! Full stamp 16, that's gonna be really good for NAD characters. Just that. We need a new mind NAD character, bro. We need new NAD characters as a whole. Why did he not pick up Flurry? What? He picked up damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment of 50%, which is a good upgrade, but he needed Flurry and he also needed Guard Break. That is such a weird upgrade, bro. I mean, sure, it'll be like as if he has Flurry with this, but it would have been better if he got straight up Flurry. It's a better upgrade and he needed a uh, Guard Break. 
no, Shinji, I don't care too much. Uh, does he pick up normal attack damage? I'm assuming he... Yeah, I figured he would. He would be pretty much a PvP link at the end of the day. Full stam 20. Did he have 20% summon recovery before? No, this is new. I mean, they kind of cupped him skill-wise, but to be honest, it's to be expected that he would be just a link. But yo, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. They did justice my, to my boy, so... Yeah, WWW. That's what I love to see. And now let's just take a look at everything else that has come out. Even the version 15.3.0 update. The maximum player rank has been increased to 200. From rank 51, player EXP is required to increase your rank. Now that is awesome. Player EXP can be acquired in the following ways. When clearing a quest, you will receive 1 soul tickets worth of player EXP. When completing a brave battle, you will receive 3 soul tickets worth of player EXP. You will not acquire any player EXP when you fail to complete the quest you were playing. You are adjudged to have been idle in a co-op quest or epic raid. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's cool. I mean, I clear most of the quests anyway, so it's alright. Once a day, you can choose to play a co-op quest for five times the reward without using a soul ticket. When you do this, you will receive five soul tickets worth of player EXP. Hmm. From rank 51, you will receive five spirit orbs each time your rank increases. Furthermore, 5-star summons tickets and other great rewards will be available as rewards for reaching certain ranks, so... Wow! That's pretty solid, you can get yourself a crap ton of orbs from this. And then there's the guild quest update. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at everything else. Battle power. We've added the battle power feature, a numerical representation. Yeah, yeah, I saw, bro, I had like a crap ton of battle power already. And, uh, yeah. Also a new app icon, even though I didn't really see much with it. Connect with Brave Souls. Oh, okay. Just some kind of Twitter uh, campaign. Alright, let's take a look at the new guild quest, which is pretty much what I'm excited to see the most. Okay. It'll be implemented from October 2nd at 5 p.m. CET. So, uh, yeah. Monday's gonna be rank calculations. From Tuesday to Thursday is going to be Phase 1, and from fi Friday, blah, 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 Friday to Sunday Phase 2. It's in Japan Standard Time. A very hard difficulty. Okay, let's see the schedule change. This was already known, okay. Uh, Alright, personal score calculation. Okay. Four factors. This is new. In addition to earning points based on the amount of damage dealt to enemies and how quickly the quest was cleared, a clear bonus will be also be added when a new wave is cleared. The score acquired through the clear bonus is different for each wave of each difficulty. Guild quest passes, along with the addition of a new difficulty level and the changes to score calculation, the amount of guild quest passes that restore daily at midnight will be changed from 3 to 5. Alright, well that was already seen from the Bankai Live. Okay, ratings of 1 to 3 will be added to the S League, and ratings will be removed from the C League. Ah, oh, that's interesting. The contents of the treasure boxes attainable when rankings are calculated, cal me, calculated will now be determined according to the League and rating of the Guild. While we are removing wave rewards, we are adding score rewards. Score rewards are rewards based on each player's personal score. Okay, the acquisition status of score rewards is reset when the rules change between phase 1 and 2, so score rewards can be earned according to the highest score in both phases. Please be aware that the rewards of phase 1 and phase 2 are the same. The rewards available can be confirmed on the guild quest screen during the calculation period. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, this is, uh, oh, okay. Higher score than hard can be acquired. Added enemy appearance effects when entering a new wave. We need to see what these are. Enemies have higher stats than those of hard, and to be expected, rules are the same as hard. Okay, let's see all the new stuff. Wave change enemies. The enemies of very hard are extremely powerful, and they are scattered around the map. To help players understand where they are located, special effects will play where enemies are appearing from wave 2 onward. While enemies are appearing, the player cannot attack? They can only move or use flash step. However, the remaining time of any buffs applied to the character will not reduce during this time. Okay, well, at least there's that, but wow. They really are trying to make this challenging? 
Okay, let's see. Uh, very hard. Okay. I mean, so far the rules are pretty much the same. It's not that different. Wait, hold on. So yeah, this is the new schedule, okay? Oh, they're dividing Squad Zero and uh, Stern Ritter. Like, now Squad Zero and Human Killer are just the one GQ rotation, and Quincy Stern Ritter Killer are their own ones. Wow. Ooh. Okay, well, uh, Balgo definitely saw an increase in value now, because keep in mind, remember, uh, he had the same killers of, you know, Human and Quincy, and back then it was bad, because for GQ, right, um, it would mean that uh, he was literally kind of pointless because it was just for one GQ rotation and that's it. But that's not all, lads. There's also going to be uh, two different ranged and melee counterparts to Squad Zero, Human, and Quincy Sternritter. Okay. Well, they really divided the killers now even more. Huh. Yeah, I'm literally trying to make you play uh, the long game, huh? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't mind that. I actually don't mind that. Alright. And this is for hard and very hard, but so far the rules are pretty much the same. But the wave changes are definitely there, so... <clears throat> There's that. And then, uh, yeah, the rules for normal are pretty much going to be the same, but let's be honest here. I don't think doing normal GQ is even worth it. It's good for when you're starting it out, but... Besides that, nah. Yeah. So that's it. All right. That's all that we need to see here. Let me just go and check what my battle power is now. I'm very curious to see. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of stats that I have right here. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Let me know what your battle power is for your actual game, right? It'll be interesting to see how it is shared among all of you guys. Wow, that is actually quite insane. And uh, what are the rewards for the battle power? Do I get a shit ton of orbs? Oh my. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the 300 orbs. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, there's even a five-star accessory ticket too? Wow. Okay. Is there, like, a limit to the battle power? <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the 300 orbs. And, you know, what? just to celebrate my battle power acquisition, I'll just go ahead and waste these uh, BBS tickets and uh, just see if we can get, like, a 5-star. I don't really care. Wow, we got nothing. <laughs> wow. That is just so bad. I have not gotten 5-star uh, from, you know, BBS tickets. And oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Ah, can't use that. I can use the Kisuke, though, at least. All right, well, at least we did walk out with two five stars. All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your battle power is and if you guys are going to be summoning on the Burn the Witch characters. I don't know if I want to. I'll have to wait and see. But for now, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, this has been your buddy, Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So, have a good day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sayonara.